I'm going to venture out to a furniture store today to try to find some goodies. So I've purposely picked combinations that I have not worn yet. Just left the house and I am taking you with me as I said. Anyway, I've started to watch one of the series that uh, Lizzie in the City recommended and she recommended Politician because she thought the content of the show was good and, um, and she thought the fashions were really good and she was spot on. How do I describe Politician? I describe Politician as, um, did you guys watch when it was back on the comedy it was on HBO at the time called Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David I think we all watched that 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 show I love 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 that series and um, I just love the humor with Larry David I even loved it more than Seinfeld I don't know I'm probably gonna get a lot of comments people saying are you crazy another one that I've been watching on uh, Netflix is um, Frank, what is it Frankie I always say it wrong Frankie and Grace or Grace and Frankie a lot of well-known actors are in that one you definitely will know it like Charlie Sheen's dad is in it so it's really funny it's definitely unique um, if you like the if you can get through the first two episodes then you know it's your cup of tea type of show oh and then I need to try to get my nails done I used to feel like oh if your nails are short you really can't wear color. Nope, 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 nope. Done with that theory too. I don't care if your nails are short or long. Wear what you want. If you want to wear a color, green, blue, red, orange, purple, whatever it is to put a smile on your face, I say do it. I just realized that I didn't tell you when I left today and that is what perfume I decided to wear today. I'm giving the new Time for a Fragrance another try. So I still have the sample that Miss Ellen gave me. And so I've decided to wear it just to see if, if it changes on me because when I smell it for the first time, it's when I smelt it with you when I sprayed it on the cotton pad. But I wanted to let you know what perfume I've decided to wear today. Well, here's day two. I was successful and then somewhat not successful. So I was successful that I was able to go to the furniture store um, and I was able to go to look at the makeup that I promised you, the Cred de Peau, but I did not find anything in the furniture store. But here's what I did find. I decided to try another foundation. I know. Did I need another foundation? No. But I got a sample of the line called uh, Sicily. I'll put it up here for you now. And I will tell you, I'm actually wearing it now. You guys let me know what you think. Now, before I get into the lookbook of the leather outfits, I, oh, I'm going to share with you what uh, perfume I'm wearing today. I am wearing La Labo, another 13. So I have on the the lotion today as well as just one quick spread of the perfume now so here's the thing everybody knows i love leather jackets i think wearing leather jackets for me is easy with driving in the car i don't really like wearing bulky coats unless i absolutely have to so leather jackets work whoa most of the time when I'm getting dressed, I love to wear a more of a monochromatic look. We all have things about our body that we're a little bit mm, sensitive about. And for me, I've always felt comfortable not uh, breaking up my top and my bottom. So basically, I never like to accentuate my stomach area. So I'm actually already wearing the first look. And I'm going to stand up and show you. And I'm going to pair it with my green leather jacket. So I'm going to share with you, here are some of the leather jackets I'm going to share with the lookbook. As you can see, I have the green, I have the blue, uh, I have a, a blazer, navy blue. So I'm going to have different leather jackets with every single look. And the first one is going to be with this green leather jacket. So the first one, as you can see, is this beautiful long green dress by Rick Owens. And um, as you can see, it's sort of like a really slinky a wool fabric and I absolutely love it the split comes up a little higher than I would like for the fall so what I've decided to do is pair it with 
a similar color cotton legging that I have that are really thin and I'm wearing it with a pair of Saint Laurent boots booties that are currently in stock and as you guys know I did get these uh, last fall on sale when I think Marcus was having their 50% off so I was really thankful but they currently do still have these in stock um, that you can still purchase and as I already mentioned I am deciding to wear this with a green dark green leather jacket by rag and bone and if it's still a little chillier if it's like in their 40s or something and you want something around your neck i happen to have a very old dark green long scarf Two is a lot about a leather jacket and leather pants depending upon where you are in the country you do not have to wear leather jackets you can sort of get away with um, a leather top and so that's what I'm deciding to do with this lookbook I have on a beautiful Vince long leather tunic top and Vince leather gray jeans so both of these out these pieces are gray different shades of gray but I still think they work very well together I've also just decided to pair it again with the Saint Laurent booties that I just had on from lookbook one and if I need to have something around my neck then I will put on this long cashmere scarf that I know we definitely have one of these in our closet Look three I am wearing a Y3 wool short crop jacket what influenced this look was wearing a leather skirt so as you can see i have on this black leather skirt by burberry that you have guys you have seen me wear now for a while i actually wear this skirt all year long and so i've decided to pair it with two type of boots so this is the first boot that i'm pairing it with a old pair of jill sander boots and then now i'm going to pair it with a over the knee boot by Givenchy. I will tell you, I got these a couple of years ago, but I was just in a store recently and I saw the, if I would say, they're like the exact same pair of boot by Louis Vuitton. The only difference is they do not have the silver uh, trim, chain trim around the edge of it as the Givenchy's do, but everything looks identical and they were brand new in the season by Louis Vuitton. So if you're looking for something very similar, definitely check those out. I saw those in Neiman Marcus. So I got this from the website L&M that Jerusha often talks about. And as I got, as I shared with you, you know I'm a huge, huge fan of New York City. And I thought this was just the perfect t-shirt color going into the fall and getting away from wearing my standard white v-neck t-shirts also i have decided to pair this with a beautiful rust pair of suede wide leg pants i got these over the summer at the vince outlet in woodbury commons at a huge 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 i think i got them at 90 percent off so i thought this would definitely be perfect for the fall and i have decided to pair them with a really old pair of cowboy boots that uh, i've shared with you last week that they've got to be almost 15 to 20 years old because i'd had them for over 10 and they were already pre-owned when i got them from the consignment store i still have on the exact same t-shirt you're absolutely right but i'm going to change up the bottom and the jacket so i'm going to keep on my same l m t-shirt and what i've decided to do is pair it with navy blue again but it's going to be with this beautiful navy blue blazer to sort of change up the look a little bit that i also got at the uh, Ralph Lauren store when they were having their major sale at the end of the summer. So as you can see, I am pairing with the beautiful, beautiful lambskin leather jacket uh, in navy blue, same t-shirt, and I just have on a regular pair of crop jeans. I have them sort of rolled up at the bottom and I'm wearing my exact same Saint Laurent booties. And so also my little trick to keep in my calf tight with the jeans is I have little rubber bands. Let me guys, let me show you my little trick sometimes. Um, so I have rubber bands that sort of try to keep my leg a little tighter around the ankle when I'm wearing the jeans rolled up with the, uh, with the booties. It sort of helps me. It's also my little secret too. When I want to keep my sleeves pushed up, I decided to actually go in my closet, 
shop create all new looks that I haven't done before without buying anything brand new and it'll feel like I actually have bought something but I really didn't so I'm really thankful and just taking that extra five minutes definitely made a difference and now I have something I uh, now I have my outfits that I'm going to be wearing all week long and having fun wearing them so anyway give me the thumbs up if you like the video I appreciate it I love you guys so much and I'll definitely be seeing you real soon